Well, good morning. It is Monday, September 23rd. Woke up to a beautiful 53 degree temperature day. So you're thinking to yourself, are you going hunting today? No. Unfortunately, my past life is catching up to me. And I have to actually go to court today for an old case for an old uh, homicide slash sexual assault case from like 13 years ago. So we'll see how that goes. I don't even have a suit, so I got to meet with the DA today at about one. And then if it's going to go to trial, then we got to pick a jury. And then probably for the next few days, I'm going to be in court. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. When I shot my buck and was tracking them the other night, I was going through, I'm sure you saw how thick that stuff is that I was tracking through. And when I was going through, the brush took out one of my arrows from my quiver, my old quiver, which is on the ground over there. And when you're hunting thick stuff, that kind of happens when you're, you know, walking through the bush. So then I started a, an internet search to see if there was any quivers that would take care of that. And I found one, I think, it's called Arrow Lock. And it's pretty cool. You've got to, on the back, it's got all these adjustments here. Well, not adjustments, but the screws you undo. And then this goes up wide and it holds your knock. And it holds your broadheads up there. And it's a plunger system. Let me put this on so I can show you a little better. It's a plunger system. So to put them in and out, you just pick it up and go like that. Super easy. But it's way more containment than just a regular bow quiver. I mean, look at this. not going anywhere the only drawback that I can see is that it is quite a bit heavier than my other one I think this probably weighs about a pound by itself so I don't know if that's gonna affect my shooting or not now I haven't shot my bow since I got my deer but let's step out and see if I can hit anything with this at 20 yards And that's all there is to put it on. Just such a slick, such a slick deal. So, and quite honestly, the bow is heavy enough that I don't think that that extra weight is really gonna matter that much, so. So let's step back 20 yards and take first shot since I shot that deer. And again, look how easy this is. Just up and down. Nice and quiet, nice and easy. And yet, one of the most containable bow quivers that I've seen. Uh, okay, that can is riding a little low. I guess we'll shoot for it. If I shoot low, I'm gonna be screwed. Well, I heard the can, which makes me think that the shot was probably on. <laughs> Dead center. So that extra weight does not hurt me at all. And actually, it makes my, uh, my pin, you know, movement my pin drift a lot less when I'm at full, when I'm at hold, but look at that, perfect. Again, here's the quiver. Look at that, nice hard bottom, very secure. These arrows are not coming out at all 
that's the arrow lock uh, for you guys that hunt out west and do a lot of spot and stalk and stuff that might not be the quiver for you because I think it weighs almost a pound by itself so you add in three arrows it's gonna be it's up there but for me you know I just walk into my stand and sit and come back out so it's not a big deal the weight but gives me that sense of security the knowing that I'm not gonna lose any arrows that night when I shot that buck after I gutted the buck out and got him back to the car and I realized that I had dropped one of my arrows I had to go back and rewalk the whole thing to find my arrow which was about halfway through where I was uh, tracking them that is a pain in the butt I'm thinking that this is gonna take care of that problem so got court for at least today possibly the next two or three more days after today we'll see what happens today uh and then god willing i'll be back in the woods so hope you're all doing good catch you on the next one thanks bye